Welcome to our lecture online and for our next math trick we're going to multiply two two-digit numbers not using a calculator. And let me show, first show you how we use that approach. And in the very end on the last one we're going to try and do that without, using, without writing anything down. So first I'll write things down so you can see how the process works. So think of the first multiplication as 40 plus 2 multiplied times 30 plus 6 and then we multiply each of those separately. For example we start out by saying what's 40 plus 30, uh, not plus but times 30, so 40 times 30 plus 40 times 6, 40 times 6 plus 2 times 30, 2 times 30 and then finally plus 2 times 6. And if we add them all together, so we have 1,200 plus, that would be 240, plus 60, plus 12, and 240 plus 60 is 300, plus 1,200 is 1,500, plus 12 is 1,512. So that's the technique that we use. Now let's try that without writing that portion down, just what we have over there. So we have 17 times 39, so that's 10 times 30, which is 300 plus 7 times 30, which is 210, plus 9 times 10, which is 90, and finally plus 7 times 9, which is 63. Okay, 210 plus 90 is 300. Add that to 300, it gives you 600. Add to 63, that's 663. Next, 56 times 34, so we go 50 times 30, which is 1,500, plus 50 times 4, which is 200, plus 30 times 6, which is 300, plus 6 times 4, which is 24, 200 plus 300 is 500, plus 1500 is 2000, that's 2024, and let's see if I got that right. 50 times 30 is 1500, 50 times 4 is 200, 30 times 6 is, whoa, whoa, I got the wrong number here. 30 times 6 is 180, and 4 times 6 is 24. Still got to be careful. All right, so 200 plus 180 is 380, plus 1500 is, uh, that would be 1880, plus 24, that would be 1904. And finally, I'm going to multiply these two together, but not write anything down at all, just the answer. So, let's see if we can keep things in our head. 30 times 20 is 600. Okay, we remember 600. 30 times 8, that would be 240, so 600 plus 240 is 840. Then we have 5 times 20, that's 100. 840 plus 100 is 940. And 5 times 4 is 40. 940 plus 40 is 980. All right, now let's see if we got these right. A quick check on any of these, for example, a quick check on this one is you draw a little X like that. Add 3 and 5, that gives me 8. Add 2 and 8, that's 10. 10 is a 1 and a 0. Add 1 and 0 together gives me 1. 1 times 8 is 8. And 9 times 8 is 17. 1 plus 7 is 8. If these two numbers are the same, I got my problem right. And that's how we can quickly check. If you like that, let's try one more. Let's try, for example, this one right here. See if we got this one right. Try a little x. 5 plus 6 is 11. 11 is 1 plus 1, that's 2. Write that down over there. 3 plus 4 is 7, write that down down here. 2 times 7 is 14, 1 plus 4 is 5, write that down here. And add these numbers together, 1 plus 9 is 10, plus 4 is 14, 1 plus 4 is 5, and sure enough, I got that one right as well. If you want to know how to do that, I have another example, another video that shows you how to use that technique right there. But notice how we can do math in our head pretty simple. When you have two numbers that are simply two-digit numbers, you want to multiply them together. First, multiply the tens together. 30 plus 20 is 600. Then multiply the tens and the ones and, the, and over here. So 30 times 8, that's 240. 600 plus 240 is 840. Then you multiply this uh, digit times 20. 5 times 20 is 100. 840 plus 100 is 940. And finally, you do these two. 50, plus, 50 times 8 is 40. 940 plus 40, 980. You just have to remember the last number, the last sum that you got, and just keep adding to it, and there's the answer. And that's how we do that.